Hello and welcome to Community Access Television's Hawkeye TV. I'm your host, Paul Stein. Today, we've got Richard Gafter with us in the studio. He's the president and director of MedEx Personal Training and Wellness Center. He's a father of two children, 18 and 13. He's been married to his wife, Amanda, for 20 years. And he's a member of a local men's community group. Uh, and he's been there for about 15 years, a member there. Welcome to the show, Rich. How are you doing today? A pleasure to be here. Doing great. Good. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about this men's community team that you belong to. Um, what exactly is it? Tell the audience just a little bit about it, please. Yeah, I'm a, a member of uh, a men's community called Hawkeye Tribe. And I've, when I arrived in Victoria uh, in 1999, I uh, was befriended by some men that I knew. They invited me out. And it's really a place for myself and other men. There's, there's, at this point, there's 50 of us, and there's four teams that encompass the 50. Uh, we come out and we have meetings each week. They last about two or three hours. They're in different places around town. It's really a place for men to support each other in their work, their health, their uh, dealing with their money, relationships, even though there's no financial tie to it. It's more how are you doing in your life and what's working, what's not working. It's, just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique thing that doesn't exist in our society, uh, hasn't for a long time. It's a place for men to come to and share. Excellent. So is this a, a location-specific thing? Is this only Victoria or is, this, is there other cities that, that do these kind of men's community events as well? Yeah, it's, it's all over uh, North America. There's probably, you know, the Toronto, uh, down in Florida, Atlanta, New York's a big, big community there. Um, California, Vancouver, Calgary. You know, so there's probably, oh, I would say tens of thousands of men that have, that have done over the years these types of uh, weekend trainings, men's weekend trainings, that then uh, come to a community of teams like the one I'm in and uh, just kind of continue to develop as, uh, as, as the man that they want to be, the man that the, what we talk about is the man uh, that the world needs right now. And it's a, it's a great place to air our lives out. And we're talking about um, regions of men, 800, 1,000 men exist in these larger cities. In Victoria, we're a little smaller, but uh, it's no less impactful for us. Yeah, well, I've seen a couple videos on YouTube of mm -hmm. some things that you men do. Maybe give a, a brief example of something that you do when you're on team here in Victoria. Mm -hmm. A lot of opportunity for community events like uh, something we call a grunt, which could be, we, the last one we did was last year at Avatar Grove. And we, um, it, it was basically like uh, making the environment better, building some structures inside Avatar Grove, working shoulder to shoulder with men and women and children in the community. Um, then there's uh, men's training weekends. Uh, one's coming up called the Masculine Identity and Power Weekend. And that's happening at Camp Priggle, uh, April 4th, 5th, and 6th. And that, that particular weekend is similar to other weekends that we either support by you know, telling other men about it or, in this case, bringing the trainers and the whole production of that weekend locally to kind of bring the costs down and give some men that can't travel, maybe across the border or uh, don't maybe have the money uh, to get these training experiences and then have an opportunity to come to a men's team like, like the ones that I've been on over the years. That sounds cool. Yeah. So right. is, it, is it something, is it like um, once a year that this goes on or is this like an, a weekly thing or mm -hmm. what kind of team is this? Yeah, in Victoria, uh, again, our we call it a men's tribe, it, it's called Hawkeye Tribe. We um, meet once a week. And for some of us, the only reason why we don't go to one of these meetings is because either we're out of, out of town, uh, so we're sick, or as we like to say, we're dead. <laughs> so it's that important to uh, so many of us that we go out and, and, and share these experiences and share this time because we, you know, we have all of stressful lives. You know, it's, it's a very fast pace. And uh, a lot of the men on my men's team meet with each other or with the other men from other teams once, twice a week. Some men, you know, they travel a little bit more and they don't come out every, every, every week, but they come out when they can and they, they step in on their own, in their own time and their own space. And, and it works for them and we all support each other to, uh, to be better men. That's really the idea. So is there like a membership involved or is this just a kind of loose association of men that want to be together, that want to practice being better men, object, mm -hmm. achieving their goals? Is that basically what it is? Yeah. In Victoria, we don't have any uh, dues where in other cities uh, there might be a nominal fee for uh, that quarter, but that's up to 
each individual region or, or group of teams amend. It's, it's, it's not a centralized um, organization. We, we, there's one man that has been quoted as saying, we are because we meet. Interesting. And in that, you, what are the dues going to pay for? Well, how about we do a fundraiser that then gives back to the community and maybe has bursaries for some of the men's training events? Interesting. So, no, it's not mandatory for us to collect dues. It's not that kind of organization. It's more we do it because we're interested in it, we're committed to it, and we certainly see the benefit in ourselves and to the other men around us. Sounds, sounds nice, sounds warm and yeah. comforting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely unique, and it's, it's uh, not the sort of thing that most men, women, uh, really know even existed. I didn't know it existed until uh, my father-in-law told me about that, uh, that, that it existed four years after I met my future wife, he had already done this type of work. And from 3,000 miles away, he said, you might want to check out this particular men's training weekend. And you can actually meet with men once a week to go through what, what's going on for you in your life. Wow. Uh, you can imagine my surprise. Yeah. Really? Something like that exists? It does. Cool. So it's open for everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And we, the age requirement, you know, 21 years old. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not for a 16-year-old, 17-year-old. A little more life experience, a uh, little more conflict in the life might, um, I think, be a little more valuable for what we, what we talk about, what we do, because it's, it's a mature environment. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no you know, qualification of, of how much money you make or what kind of car you drive or what your career is or how many times you've been married or if, you, if you've had four divorces or if you've never been married. It's for any man. That just wants to engage in being a better man. And what other place to, to do that than among other men? And on the men's team, it's not about having friends, but having mirrors and having supports and people that really are, want to contribute to your life. And that's a, a pretty rare thing. And, uh, you know, it can get a little, little heated sometimes. You know, it could be uh, uh, when there's a passing of a family member. The men get together. Yeah, sounds like it's, a powerful, powerful team. It it, it is. It's a, it's a, it's a powerful experience, and um, I think it used to be in our society. You know, up to maybe a hundred years ago. Uh, I don't. I wasn't around, but I've I've seen the movies. I've read the books, and this is the closest thing to an authentic community that is full of surprises, full of fun, full of uh, heart and commitment that I can take out into the world and make great things happen. And one man recently said to me, uh, I come out here because I like to be around men that lead with what they're committed to. And it makes me a better man. And I'm a better man with my wife, with my children. I'm better in my workplace because I'm rubbing up against these type of, of individuals. And as opposed to going to see the movie, what the stereotypical man is, or the sitcom, and the, the buffoon. You know, men, men aren't held in the best light these days. And I understand that it's entertainment, but it gives a really mixed message, especially to the young men growing up. And places like this, the training weekends like this, the opportunity for community involvement like this is wonderful. In fact, my son can't wait until he turns uh, you know, 21 years old to go to one of these weekends because he's seen me you know, benefit from this over the years. And he's been a guest at some of the meetings, and my family's been around. So it's a real community involvement without being exclusive. It's very inclusive. And that's what I love about it. Cool. Well, that's yeah. excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, well, now that we're on the topic, you say there's a weekend coming up, and it's called the Masculine Identity and Power Weekend Workshop. Yeah. What is that? Mm -hmm. And maybe you can just briefly introduce the viewers on what it is and where it's, where it's being held this year. Mm -hmm. Love to. The Masculine Identity and Power Weekend is uh, a weekend for men 21 years of age or older. There's no age limit on the other end. Um, it's not uh, a physically demanding weekend yeah, where we're going to be swinging on ropes or be, you know, going on trapeze or, or climbing up rocks, anything like that. It's, it's more of, a, of an experience where men can learn bits and pieces of an education about masculinity that has been maybe missed for a lot of us. Or other men can come and contribute. You know, we don't say that we're guru-centric. We learn you know, um, with each other. And there are trainers of the weekend that come and bring a curriculum of modules that lead men through the weekend. And 
it, in this case, it's a Camp Pringle. We brought this one to the island. It's the first one on Vancouver Island. Um, and it's, uh, it's a full, like a comprehensive weekend where men come, they get picked up from the ferry. They have to get on the ferry. But then we pick them up from the ferry if they're traveling from outside the island. Um, all the food, all the accommodations, heated cabins, the tuition for the weekend is included as well. And men will really get to experience um, better ways to communicate with other men, with women, with children, understand their, their life purpose better, what, al what aligns them to what matters the most, what are things that they may have missed over the years, what's in their blind spot, um, seeing the pain in other men in, in, in a way that's um, very real, very safe, but challenging. So it's, so it's a challenging type weekend, but nothing that's going to um, you know, damage a man. You know, it's, it's yeah. actually just going to build him up. And being an overnight experience is the first one of its kind. This is to be the sixth MIP weekend. And uh, you know, this one we wanted to have that, that whole total experience where there'll be maybe a campfire at night, uh, the food will be on site, everyone will, will be in the same location as opposed to more of a seminar type uh, training experience where you would go back to the hotel or go back to your home and then come back and spend the day and it's kind of chopped up. This time we're doing it a bit different. And so it's, it's a total package. It really is. And, and the, the men of Hawkeye tribe are the production people. It's a volunteer basis. And we're doing it because a lot of us have gone to this MIP weekend and other weekends. And we know how beneficial this particular one is. And um, it's $560. That's a total price a tax, you know, all the taxes, the travel, everything like that, as long as you get to the island. And, um, you know, what, what we're doing uh, as part of this, thanks for, for, off, for, for having me on, uh, we want men to come to this. I'm telling every man that I know of age to come to this weekend, even though they can contribute to the sex success of other men and families, or they're just going to get a lot out of it themselves. They're going, they just went through a divorce. Um, God forbid a death. There's there's a place for every man. Yeah. Well, you said it's uh, at Camp Pringle. At Camp Pringle. So where yeah, was Camp Pringle, and when will this uh, weekend be held? Yeah, it's uh, Camp Pringle is in actually Shawnigan Lake. It's on the west side of Shawnigan Lake, and it's right before the provincial park up there. And April fourth is a Friday. And after 7 p.m. is when we're having men arrive. Either we, we're going to be picking them up or they'll take their own transportation. They'll sleep over the 5th and the 6th, and then the weekend will conclude at about 6, 6.30 p.m. so that every man can get back to the ferry on time to go back to work on Monday. So really no work time is lost. So you're encouraging other men from Vancouver and the mainland to come over to the island and participate in this? From everywhere. There's, um, there's a man coming from overseas to do this. He's a relative of, of someone that's uh, going to the weekend. Uh, there's men coming from the States. There's men coming from up in Black Creek, yeah. uh, up on the island. And uh, then there's a, a whole host of men coming from parts, you know, uh, east and kind of northeast, you know, so it's a it's a gathering. The trainers are coming from Toronto and they're and Walnut Creek in California. Hmm. So you can see that it's you know it's it's there's something very uh, community oriented about this whole experience, and it's like the global community of men and families, and we're all gathering for this special weekend. Cool. How many weekends have been done in the past of this nature? This will actually well. Masculine Identity and Power uh, began in 2012. Uh, the curriculum was written. It took about two years for, the, for that to be written. And the first weekend was 2012. So this will be the sixth one of MIP. But men's weekends really started back in 1981 um, in the Bay Area, Los Angeles Bay Area, and kind of moved over. I may have that backwards. Started in New York, moved over the East West Coast. And then that proliferated to uh, all these other offshoots of men's weekends. So we're talking about going on 35 years wow. of this type of, you know, it was considered new age um, in, the, in the early 80s, where now it's developed more into um, you know, personal development and growth for both women and men. There's equivalent women's weekends as well, which our, which our tribe also has connection with. There's a women's team. My wife is part of a women's team. And she does similar things with the women that have gone to these training weekends. And she's got a one time a week opportunity to meet with women. And I don't know what they do. <laughs> I'm not allowed. Uh, but they, but they uh, always um, end their meetings. I come to the house after if it's being held at my house. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Definitely some special things have happened. And, and it's good uh, energy. It's, it's good it's, energy. It's great it's, energy. It's, it's quality time. It's quality. It's not face time. It's body time. You're in a room with people and you're participating. Nothing like, nothing like an event to uh, rub shoulder to shoulder with people to, uh, to bring out the best of each other. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So with this Masculine Identity and Power workshop that's mm -hmm. happening on April 4th, 5th, and 6th mm -hmm. of 2014, mm -hmm. what can a man, what kind of tools can a man walk away with at the end of this weekend? What can he be expected mm -hmm. to walk away with to put in his tool pack that he can take back to the world? I think the first thing that comes to mind is communication and I think everyone's looking to uh, feel better and to feel healthier. And I use the word alignment to be more aligned with my, the way I eat, the way I um, speak. I want to I speak a certain way. I want to feel comfortable when I am with my family, with my friends. And I think that's what I hear from the graduates. Uh, at this point, there's, there's over 150 graduates of this particular of the MIP. weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's growing. This next weekend, you know, it's going to be a lot bigger than any of the others that have come before. Uh, because men are telling each other about their experience. And what they explain to me is that there's a sense of freedom and peace from being in this type of training and getting the education um, and, and discoveries that have been missed in our society. It, it's not my dad's fault that he didn't tell me these things. Maybe he just didn't know. It's a different world today mm -hmm. than it was you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago. So it's really learning how to be a strong, masculine presence in today's busy world, which is fairly confusing, especially, like I said, for the young men. So um, improving what we do on a regular basis, aligning with what we're really here to do, what our true calling is, um, our spirituality, opening up to other things. It's not all about me and opening up to my fellow man, my fellow uh, woman, being uh, more chivalrous. You know, it's a, it's a word that you, we barely hear anymore. That's right. But it's so important to honor the, you know, the, the, the women in our society, and certainly the children, and, and have the understanding of how to make that better for ourselves so that we are um, ambassadors of, of, our, of, our, of our male species. Wow. So this is definitely not your typical <laughs> institutionalized training. This is not no. your typical... No you know, six month course that you take at a commo at college or at a UVic. It's, it's a very specific, targeted, intensive training, it sounds like. It, it, at times it is intensive. There's certain things that, uh, you know, wake up a man. I was certainly woken up when I went to my MIP weekend. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I was sleeping. <laughs> In some cases, you know, I know from the way I communicate with my wife now, I communicate differently. So, so men can expect to have that and an improvement. And almost like watching yourself watch yourself, that higher level and awareness yes. after this, 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 this training experience. And then being able to share it with other men in your life. It's not just a, a training seminar that I did down in Kansas, and it was fantastic, and I don't know anybody now, and I bring that information back. Or, this is something where you can join our community, the Hawkeye tribe. And, uh, and toss some of these ideas around, these discoveries. So it's kind of an ongoing process that you can expect to have after. So basically what you're saying is that you'd, you'd come, you do a weekend, and then the tribe is there to kind of continue you in your days so that you stay strong and you can relive that weekend and practice what you need to do in order to stay on your game. Is yeah, that pretty yeah, much? to stay sharp. If you choose, there's men that have come to this, these experiences and they got all that they needed and we never saw them again until the birthday party five years later. And he says, yeah, hey, I met you at that weekend, or you went to that men's weekend, or you're at that, uh, you're at that community fundraising event, or the grunt. Yeah, have you, have you been? And it's that immediate connection. So it's great when, they, when men come out. It's great when men stay. But it's more important to share and pay forward what these experiences bring to each man. So it's not mandatory that men come out, but boy, there's an opportunity there. But That'll, it's a great way to practice it. That a lot of men take, yeah. Practice it, hone it, um, have honest feedback from men that really know you. Mm. That can and be tough sometimes. Tough. But at and the same time, it's very uh, uplifting and it can actually propel you into a growth that you never knew about. That's right. And if it's, it's done safely, uh, without the risk of repercussion, you know, one man speaking very, very uh, clearly and truthfully to another man and giving him some 
tough things, but because of that trust, because of that, that bond, because of that context, it's okay, and I become a better man because of it. So that practice, that, that um, connection. Interesting. Very powerful. So this weekend, the Masculine Identity and Power Weekend, who is it for? What age group is it for? It's for any man 21 and over. Um, there's no criteria of anything else other than you're a man and you're of age. That's it. Cool. That's, that's it. That's pretty straightforward. It's, it's, for, it's for every man. Excellent. Well, that's good. It's not, you're not excluding anyone and you're just bringing it to the community. I, I think that's excellent. Uh, you said that this weekend costs around $560? Yeah, $560 would be all in and that would include all meals. That would include a uh, Friday night snack. Men would come fed. Uh, with uh, having dinner either on the ferry or in town at, at, their, at their home. Um, Saturday morning breakfast, lunch, dinner. Sunday morning breakfast, Sunday lunch, and whatever food we have left over. And that includes accommodation for Friday night, Saturday night. So it's okay. food, accommodation, everything. And if you need to be everything. picked up from the ferry, if you're coming from the mainland, yep. Yep. you've the, got a bus or a bunch of men driving you there yep. too, so. The men in the community are going to be uh, having caravans to, to bring the men to and from. And uh, that includes the tuition of the weekend so that the trainers get paid and the costs are covered for the weekend because it, this is a fairly big production. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to make sure that the costs are covered, uh, but we kept the tuition you know, quite low. That's, that's, that's reassuring. It sounds good. It's, it sounds like you're organized and you, you've done this before, or at least the men have done this before, and it sounds like it could be a really strong weekend for a lot of men. Yeah, there's a good men around, good men around us that making this happen. It's a pleasure. Cool. That's excellent. So I guess the last question that I have is, how will, this how will this weekend benefit the individual man? It's a two-part question. Mm -hmm. How will this weekend benefit the individual man, say myself, mm -hmm. and how will it coincidentally affect and benefit the society as a whole, as our mm. community? Yeah, the whole local global question, fantastic. I get a lot of uh, uh, men my age ask me this question. What I can say, honestly, is it wakes men up to what they didn't even know they didn't know. It improves their life in terms of how they communicate how responsible they are, how, um, how they're aligned with their, with their work, with their hobbies. It, it gives them a, what truly a masculine identity and presence for themselves so they can uh, feel more relaxed and comfortable in any environment, which will make our entire world a better place when that man is leading from what he's committed to and what he's aligned with versus a lot of other distractions that, that, that take away our interests. I'm a texter, I Twitter, I do all these things. But what comes first now, since doing my, my MIP weekend, are the things that I'm committed to, what matter most. Those other things I'm putting aside more, but I'm still having the joy and the, and the uh, zest for life that I've never had before. And, and you know, that's my experience, and a lot of men come out of this uh, on fire. A lot of men come out of this uh, with uh, a clear understanding of what they need to do with their personal uh, finances or their business or their relationship. So this is a transformational experience and it's, 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 it's open to every man if they're willing to see it. But there's nothing like doing, there's nothing like going to a movie with someone else, right? It's, it's great to see a movie yourself. A lot of times seeing a movie with someone else and get to talk about it after and, sh and share that and have that, have that experience is great. And yeah, in this weekend, there's going to be many pairs of fathers and sons, um, uh, professionals that work together. There's going to be brothers. So, you know, it, sky's the limit. Whoever you want to invite, you invite. And uh, maybe they say yes, maybe they say no. Move on to the next man. Excellent. So if you want to learn more about this, you can go to Facebook. Facebook, I believe they have a page, um, mm -hmm. uh, an event For page there that gives you descriptions. Uh, you can also check on YouTube. I believe you have a YouTube channel called Hawkeye Tribe. That's right. And I don't know if you've got, I think you've, you said you've got a couple testimonials up on there. That's right. There are, at this point, maybe three or four videos that give each man's, uh, I think it's three videos, that give each man's testimonial of what they went, why they went to the MIP weekend, what they learned and discovered, and what message they want to give other men that would be considered going, that would consider going. And there's also uh, clips of the trainers on the uh, on the website or on YouTube, I'm sorry, 
and uh, www.powerproductionscorp.com is a place to find out about what MIP uh, training is all about and a little more information on the Victoria weekend, uh, April 4th, 5th, 6th. Okay, so if you just Googled masculine identity and power, you'd come up with the Power Productions Corp? There's, there's going to be other uh, links that come up that aren't associated with MIP, so I would put um, masculine identity and power and maybe Power Productions Corp or Masculine Identity and Power, Victoria, BC. I see. Mm -hmm. And you'll find it. Excellent. So if someone wants to contact you, if a man or a woman wants to contact you, again, this is open for women to buy it for their men or for their brothers because it's going to ben benefit you as well as a woman. So if, if uh, people want to come and contact you and want to register and they are, they're they not tech savvy, they don't want to go online, is there a number or an email that they can contact you at, Rich? Yes. Uh, my personal number is 250-881-3513, or you can email me as well at richgafter, that's R-I-C-H-G-A-F-T-E-R, at gmail.com. And either way, I'll be able to contact you, talk about uh, whatever questions you have, concerns, and just give you, you know, really my take on uh, if this is, is something for you or if it's not something for you. Well, excellent. Thanks so much, Rich. Remember, book your calendar for April 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's when the Masculine Identity and Power Workshop will be happening. And Rich, I just want to thank you so much for coming on the show today and speaking your, your, your opinion of what this world is and how you're bringing forth power to the community, power to men, which in essence brings power to the family structure, and um, bringing this opportunity to the community to potentially get their hands into something they've never really done before. And as you said, find out something you never knew you didn't know, mm. which is a powerful, powerful thing when you think about it, because what we know is one thing and what we don't know is another. But what we don't know we don't know is where we, all the secrets are kept. That's right. And this is a place to learn that with men exclusively. It's a rare opportunity. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming to the show, Rich. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you there on the April 4th, 5th, and 6th. And again, my name is Paul Stein, and you're watching Community Access Television's Hawkeye TV. Thanks again, and have a good day.